my fellow hooligans. What I'm about to say concerns us all. Who in this room has got an autobiography coming out? Oh, for fuck. So, Jason, you <laughs> produce the film and you also play Danny in the movie. Can you tell me about your character? Well, Danny is a is a boy that sort of is a young lad that's sort of a bit lost, you know, and he, he, he feels that sort of need to, to belong, be a part of something. He's looking for a father figure. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be an hooligan. I want to be someone. I want to be part of something. OK, here's another one. Oh, mate! <laughs> he bumps into the sort of lunatic that is Dex, played by <laughs> Nick Nevin, and, Nick, and Dex, he sort of takes him under his ring and sort of... Gives him what he's always wanted, really, which was to be a to be a hooligan, to be a and part of something, be a part of something, be a hooligan. Well, yeah, to be a hooligan. Yeah, yeah. and uh, and they go on a, a journey as old as hooliganism itself. Brilliant. It's a good line, that. It is a great line. <laughs> a great and line. Nick, you also co-wrote it, you exec produced it, you directed it, and played Dexter. Yeah, I'm Dexter. Dexter and his crew were the hardest football firm in the country. <laughs> Total nutter. Sorry, you know, can't be too careful. You understand? Roger that. What can you say about Dex? You know, he's um. Uh, he's uh, a hooligan. He's been in prison for a, a, a certain amount of years. He has one thing on his mind, which is revenge uh, for, for uh, on the Baron. Yeah. And I think because that he has uh, this this uh, one goal in his mind, we can kind of like let crazy stuff happen to him. You know, and he takes everything so super serious as well. Mm -hmm. And he's a bit of a monster of a man, really. And uh, yeah, I think that's uh, anything else you want to add to that. It was got a great tash. I mean, Nick took months growing that as well. Hunt, months, years, years, <laughs> years. If anything, I mean that's method. Forget Daniel Day Lewis. I mean he's great, but there's yeah. dedication. Oh, he's good. Sweet. That is good. Tell me, what was the inspiration behind the movie? Because I know that you're both great fans of football hooligan films. You got to make one. Well, I mean, well, like you say, the inspiration, I guess, is those films, mm -hmm. and because, like me and Jason, uh, that we've had a little handle in those films and we're kind of, you know, b bigger than that. We, we are great fans of the movies. So um, I, I think that's the the utmost inspiration, isn't it, really, mm -hmm. to, 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 to see yeah. that. So. And I think we felt like, you know, there'd been a lot of them uh, and the earlier ones were brilliant, mm -hmm. but I sort of think we felt that the re more recent ones, they, you know, because they're so popular, they were just coming out all the time. Yeah. And we were just like, how can we do something for this genre that feels fresh, feels brand new, and it's going to get people excited mm. about it? And, and Nick come up with this idea, and I was like, 100%, yes. This is like, I, as a fan, someone that, you know, enjoys films, I would love to see this movie. We've only got to take on one of them pills, haven't we? How is it? Fucking shit. Don't do nothing. My favourite scene, to be honest, was um, was the end of that, that moment where Ray and Nick have to kiss and they reveal all of us just looking at them go yeah. what the hell are you doing yeah. because Stephen O'Donnell who plays old Bill you know he had like the funny out basically and, and every time he did it I just couldn't not mm. laugh and which meant that Nick and Ray had to repeat the thing again which they sort of loved I didn't to mind. be honest I didn't mind I didn't mind so. Ray's got soft lips <laughs> you know my only regret is that I didn't put, put. You know, just oh. go further. Go further with him. Didn't get his number either. That sucks. Flash cockney bastards. You know Stanley? Nah, mate. Do you know my little friend Makita? Was there a lot of banter and, and comedy like behind the scenes when you were making it together as a crew? There's a lot of arguing between me and you. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, no, absolutely. Never. Yeah, no, no, yeah. Don't believe that no, for a there, there was some, you know what, there was, there was some, there was some sort of little gems of, of, of moments, really. Yeah. Tom, but Tom Burke particularly that, that I enjoyed that moment where Tom Burke, who plays Bullet, is in this lineup, and he, Tom's not really done, not really been a part of this sort of gritty. Tom's not British. known for the the hooligan genre, yeah. really. So <laughs> putting Tom in this situation with three hundred extras, and, and Nick sort of says, "You said." Uh, well, no, I said, "I said, okay, guys, look, I, I, I want it all, you know, safe and whatnot. So just pick someone on the other opposing firm. When I say action, just run towards them. Don't do anything. Just kind of hug each other and pretend to tussle for this particular for the wide, you know." Yeah. So you know, Tom's like you know looking at someone. He, he spots someone across the across the way. He's like, yeah, and the guy just goes, like <laughs> that. Serious. and Tom's just like, oh god, yes. Yeah, so, okay, so, 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 so obviously, yeah, is, is this completely safe? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just remember just before I shouted in action, he was just like, Nick, uh, sorry, I don't like you know. Action! Just, Welcome to the fucking neighbourhood. So not quite right about that one. Oh, that's custodial for now because the Hooligan Factory is a parody of Hooligan movies. I've put together a little quiz. Oh, a quiz! We love just quizzes. Love how, quizzes! Just to test your knowledge on some of the classics from that genre. It's oh, so it's really not like general easy. knowledge then? It's, well, kind of, yeah, but yeah. all about 
Brilliant. Football hooligan movie. Well, you're going to be all right at this. I'll probably be rubbish, but oh, yeah. Okay. Let's, okay. Let's... Uh. okay. Who directed the infamous Football Factory? Nick Love. Nick Love. Excellent. This question's for you, Nick. Jason starred in Rise of the Foot Soldier, but which crew was he part of? West Ham. ICF, yeah, yeah, West Ham, the West Ham. Yeah, sorry, ICF, ICF. So yeah, no, I knew that. No, no, I mean, say oh, the sorry, name. sorry, sorry, sorry. West, West Ham's main, ICF. Who is the main character in the Football Factory? Who also makes a cameo appearance in the Hooligan Factory? Tommy. Well, to, Tommy Johnson. <laughs> Great answer. Can't, can't, don't really want to say who that is. Okay. Sort of thing. Just for okay. the, just for the fans that no don't know worries, that he's we'll there. No keep that a secret. What was the name of the top boy in the firm? De- Bex. Bex is in this one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, in the same film, The Firm, what did the message say on the calling card which was left on Bex's car after it was his car had been smashed up? Your next... No, no, wait, wait. I'll give you a clue. Congratulations. You, oh, you have just, just met the... the... Yeti! That was it. Oh, oh my mate, God. Oh, that was bad, oh. man. That was really... You know why? Because I was thinking of, we'd do it in Rise of the Foot Soldiers as well. Yeah, well, congratulations. You've just been... Yeah. Think, oh, oh we've melted there. <laughs>